Okay, today we're going to talk about absolute values. Solving absolute value equations and what is an absolute value. So first, looking at number 4a, we look at absolute value. Absolute value, negative 2 is 2, and 2 is 2. Negative 2 thirds, absolute value is 2 thirds, and 2 thirds is 2 thirds. So notice that the negatives, absolute values of negatives, turn into positives. And the absolute value of positives stay positives. So if we look at the absolute value of negative 1.5, it becomes positive 1.5. Positive 1.5 stays 1.5. So the actual definition of absolute value is on a number line, the distance away from 0. So negative 2 and 2, the distance from 0 on both ends is 2. And from 0 to negative 2 is 2. So that's the absolute value. So when you simplify absolute values, you want to do everything inside the absolute value symbols first. So in A, you want to do what's inside first. So 3 minus 8 is negative 5. Then the absolute value is 5. Do the absolute values first, and then 3 minus 8 is negative 5. Do inside first. 4 times 5 is 20. Absolute value is 20 is 20. Absolute value is first on that. So absolute value is 12 is 3. Absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Then divide. But in E, do the inside first. So 12 divided by negative 3, negative 4, then the absolute value to be 4. D, do the absolute values first. Negative 4 becomes 4. 5 becomes 5. 4 times 5 is 20. So looking at 7, think about... Solutions equals means a point on the number line. One possible solution, five. But with B, absolute value, how many possible solutions can you get? The absolute value of a number is five. Well, what are the possible ones? Five, four, negative five. Absolute value of five is five. Absolute value of negative five is five. If we have absolute value of something to be negative, is it possible to be negative? Nope. Not possible. So anytime you have the absolute value of a negative number, not possible. And if you have something equal to zero, it's only zero. Okay. Go to page 128. We're going to solve absolute value equations. So to solve, we want to think of there's two possible answers. So the absolute value gives us two possibilities. So we set up the equations in two different formats. Lose the absolute value sign, set it equal to one of positive answers and one of the negative. So x plus three equals three, x plus seven equals three, or x plus seven equals negative three. Solve fractions like you would. So you get one possible answer, so x equals negative ten. Another possible answer, x equals negative four. Two answers to this absolute value equation. Two possible answers. X has two answers. So you set them up, lose the absolute value sign, set them equal to one positive or one negative. So you get x minus 9 equals 12, and x minus 9 equals negative 12. Solve for x just like you would. Solve for x just like you would. You get x equals 21 or x equals negative Three. Try C and D. So we're going to get to get the absolute value sign by itself. So we're going to make sure we add, get the absolute value sign by itself first. What does that mean? We want to get everything away from the absolute value symbols. So you're going to subtract 16 from each side. You get absolute value equals 16. All right, so the first thing you do is get the absolute value by itself. Then you separate it into two different equations. So absolute value of x equals 16. Now you separate x equals 16 or x equals negative 16. Same thing here. You get the absolute value symbols by itself. Subtract 6. 
from each side, you get 17 equals the absolute value of x minus 8. Now you separate 17 equals x minus 8 or negative 17 equals x minus 8. Solve for x. See, divide each side by 3. To get the absolute value, symbol by itself. You get absolute value of x minus 2 equals 4. Now you separate. And then after you separate, you would solve. It equals 4 and negative 4. D, you get to add 10 to each side. You get 45 equals 5 times the absolute value of x plus 6. Divide by 5. Divide by 5. So you get 9 equals x plus 6. Now you're ready to separate. So you get 9 equals x plus 6 or negative 9 equals x plus 6 and solve. That's how you solve absolute value equations.